Hello friends! Welcome to my channel, or back to the channel as the case may be. For today's mythology video, we are going to be visiting Samoa. Specifically, we are going to be talking about the myth of the Alele. In Samoan mythology, the Alele are a tribe of mythical beings that had wings, and there are many tales of them flying island to island as raiders and thieves. As often happens, there's many versions and variations to these myths. Today we're only going to share one of them. As the story goes, during the reign of Chief Suzumata, a great horde of the Alele fell upon the island and stole the entire crop of yams. Naturally, this put the people in quite a frenzy, because without any food to eat, they would not be able to survive. After the theft of all the yams, the chief called for his grandson, Lele Asapi, to find the Alele, recover the yams, and, if possible, bring an end to all the raiding. Having prepared his canoe, he sailed westward to find the culprits. But as sometimes happens, a storm blew him off course. And instead of finding himself on the island of the Alele, instead of finding himself in the land of the Alele, he found himself in Pulotu, the underworld. There he met the king of the underworld and told him of his plan to destroy the Alele and recover the crops. Savea, the king of the underworld, however, was friends with the chief of the Alele and secretly planned to kill Lele Asape before he could leave. Lele Asape, however, was a shrewd young man and was aware of the king's attempts to delay or destroy him. The king tried three times to trick and delay him, but failed on each attempt. The demons of the underworld finally accepted defeat and allowed him to leave. But before going, the king told him if he had any desire to succeed, he needed to lie in wait at a certain pool and slay all of the Alele but the king. Lele Asape followed these instructions, falling upon the Alele as they returned to the pond, as they returned to the pool, leaving only the king alive. He was afraid and frightened, and in this state he promised, he swore a great oath, that he and his people would never trouble the denizens of Samoa again. This is why at present, the people of Samoa still have yams to harvest, due to the great exploits of Lele Asape. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, go ahead and leave a like. Comment if you've heard any other variations of this tale, or if you have a suggestion of a story you'd like to hear instead. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!